So, well, Joey Rocha. Really? Oh, we're, we're really scraping the bottom of the volcano right now, aren't we? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. He has a 19 pack and he will defeat me in the ring within seven minutes. Now, the trick to that is to defeat him within six minutes. If you don't know this already, um, well, then I'll explain it to you. This is a fact. This is not a theory. Um, I have several theories. Um, this is not a theory. This is a 100% fact. Come on, Joey. Are you really going to play this game of I don't know what the word theory means in scientific terms? Because that's probably what's going on here. But hey, go on with your 100% fact. Um, there's no proof against this fact that I'm demonstrating. This right here is a hoax. It's a lie. It's been perpetuated by the powers that should not be to promote evolution, the Big Bang, the dinosaur extinction theory, and to also perpetuate super volcanoes, which are a super hoax. So let me get this straight. Volcanoes are evidence for evolution, the Big Bang theory, dinosaurs existing. Uh, that doesn't even make any sense, buddy. Your 100% fact has been already uh, kicked to the side. But hey, how super are you? Are you going to erupt on us with more facts? And contrary to popular belief, hey. <laughs> I don't do puns. And then I'm going to tell you guys how you can know for sure this fact. And it's really important that everybody knows this fact because um, the more truth that we know as a truth community, the better off we are. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that seems about right. Truth. That is exactly what you guys are all about. Facts? No, not that much. You know, there's a difference between facts and truth. Just, just so you know, truths are open for... Uh, you know, interpretation, and that's kind of what your entire community, <clears throat> sorry, truth community is all about, isn't it? Something about a small red fruit comes to mind. All right, so let's just get into this. So this right here is supposedly a volcano. Well, technically it's a uh, illustration of what a volcano looks like on the interior, but you know, <laughs> I'll allow it. I mean, we gotta get our facts and theories and truths straight, right? Dare I say, we need to level with each other, eh? Let me explain to you the way that expert volcanists say uh, volcanoes and lava works. They say that approximately 90 to 95% of all lava flow on Earth comes from underground lava tubes, not from cone-shaped mountains, okay? So... Which seems uh, rather logical with uh, the tiny amount of volcanoes compared to lava tubes we have. Not to mention they don't erupt all that often, now do they? Compared to the constant flow lava tubes tend to do. Was that an unintentional rhyme? <laughs> At this point, I don't even care anymore. If you never heard that, that lava comes from uh, underground lava tubes, I'm not like theorizing this. I'm not the one that invented this. This is what traditional science teaches. Okay. Joey Rocha doesn't know that science doesn't invent things, it discovers things. Or rather, scientists do. I'm just trying to tell everybody that they never, you know, they say 5 to 10% of the time they come out of cone shaped mountains. They never do. They never have, and they never will. And you've never seen one on video. So, you know, and you've never seen one in real life. So, so. We've never seen one on video, and we've never seen one in real life. Well, I have to admit, I have never seen a volcano in real life, because I live in the Netherlands. But hey, people in Italy might have, want to have a word with you. People in... Wait a minute, aren't you from Hawaii? Can't you just take a bus ride up to Kilauea? I mean, have a look, buddy. There's a volcano right outside your door. Is he from Hawaii? Well, not that it actually matters where he lives. He can travel to any volcano site on the planet if he just wants to leave his little town. I mean, what are you doing, Joey Rose? That's like tribes who were left outside civilizations of city building telling us that cities don't exist because they haven't seen them. That doesn't make any sense. But I'm, I'm sorry, you were saying some utter horseshit there. To argue with this, you're going to have to show me video proof. And let me go ahead and debunk your video proof for you right now. Well, no, Joey Rocha, I am not going to be lured into playing your fancy little game of semantics where you can constantly say, that is fake, that video has been doctored. You demand proof in video format and then you go and debunk it with the argumentum at na -uh. I guess it's time for some creaky time. C G I. <laughs> that always cracks me up, mate. <laughs> But please try to debunk me. I, I'm, I'm more than welcome for anybody to debunk it because um, the truth fear is not investigation. Hey, hey, Joey, 
So I've been going over various uh, debunking of you in particular. You never answer questions. You evade all the questions. And then you start over talking people. Always going into childish temper tantrums. Eventually ending up uh, challenging people to face you in the ring versus your 19 pack because you will defeat them in 7 minutes. I mean, if your particular form of truth doesn't fear investigation, why are you constantly running then, buddy? And do you also see the problem with truth claims? Because, you know, it's your particular form. I, I, this is lost on this guy. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to go through Mount St. Helens and the recent Philippines eruptions. It's just ash. That's all it is, right? No. No, no, it's not. It's an explosion causing all kinds of rock material to be vaporized into the atmosphere and coming down. Well, Mount St. Helens in particular was just kind of a shotgun blast from the bloody mountain. So, you know, there's lots of material which will cause a lot of... Uh, are you trying to say that because we can't see the actual lava erupting from the volcano, that means there's no lava coming... Wow. Wow. I might have jumped a gun here, but holy hell. Is that what you're going for? And then some people show me some other uh, cone-shaped mountains that have uh, volcanic eruption, but it's actually just ash too, right? No, not not just ash. Oh, fuck. Go on. But in the first 30 seconds to the minute of the eruption in the video that they show, it's a real video. Oh, if it is a real video, why did you do quote, quote, oh, fuck, say quotation marks. You don't know what that, oh, I mean, there's, there's so much to unwrap here, but I'll be right back. It's at nighttime, and what you're seeing is, yes, ash is hot because it's what what these cone-shaped mountains are, are sulfur vents, okay? Sulfur vents. Sulfur vents. Oh, my. M might this be an advanced version of pareidolia? I mean, he sees a smoky thingy and thinks it's exactly the same as another smoky thingy. But when you look closer to it, it's... N <laughs> you know, I've been saying this time and time again. You flourish and your do-your-own-research soundbite. Screw that noise. It should, in fact, be choose your own research. So they're releasing steam, just like Yellowstone. So now the really What the fuck did you... Steam. It's releasing steam. It's a steam vent. Uh. So when they blow their cap off as they release their steam, that's heat. So the rocks that fall down for the first 30 seconds to the minute of the video that you're watching, that you're thinking maybe that's lava? No one thinks that's Well, you do, apparently. And then you say it's not. You assume that people think the pyrocrastic flows that are caused by the fucking ashes falling down from the sky again. That's lava. That's not lava. No one thinks that. Like people send me videos and they go, hey, that's lava, Joey. I see red stuff falling from it. No, that's the hot, charcoaly rocks that were inside the mountain that are being blown out. And that's why you only see them for like 30 seconds to a minute at the very longest, right? So you're only going to focus on the heavy eruptions, the heavy explosive ones, where you see all kinds of huge chunks flying off the mountain and vaporized rocks flying into the sky, coming back down as ash. But what about this milder eruption, where you basically see the lava flowing down the mountain with a tiny little plume of smoke? How is that gonna fit on your flat earth pancake? <laughs> I know, that was so bad. Anyway, make sure to have a look at uh, Martin Rietz's video here. I just showed a little part of it where it looks amazing. He has all kinds of uh, videos on his channel. And it's all related to volcanic eruptions. But yeah, this one in particular was Krakatoa. During the daytime, you wouldn't see that stuff because they're not hot enough to glow red. During the daytime, it wouldn't glow red. Wait, you think that it should be filmed during the daytime? Because it's the night is colder, so technically the lava would be a tiny bit colder during the night. That doesn't even make... Ow, that hurt! At nighttime, you're able to see them only for a few seconds to maybe a minute at the longest. All right. I've gone through Martin Rietke's uh, videos uh, all over his channel. He does have video of lava flowing and spewing from volcanoes during daytime. So put that in your volcano and smoke it. I mean, what the hell? I guess Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would challenge a button to a fight be because it pushed back. So what you're seeing with that red stuff coming down for the initial 30 seconds-ish of the video is simply the rocks that uh, comprise the mountain that's cone-shaped that are hot. They're coal hot. So as they trickle down the mountain, you're seeing a little bit of the red rocks that were within the mountain blowing out because of the hot steam that's coming out now. The hot steam? But for the remainder and duration until the 
uh, cone-shaped mountain stops spewing ash, you never see any lava, ever. You never do. All right, that's it. Uh, let's just have a look at some of these non-spewing volcanoes, apparently. I wonder what the red stuff is. Maybe it's tomato juice. Now, especially with the last one, the Fuego Volcano, you can clearly see the lava flowing down and the ash is blowing away. So, Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would put his finger in a hot cup of soup and then starts complaining to the waiter that there's a finger in his soup. Once again, go and have a look at Martin Rietz's videos on his channel. It's bloody amazing what I found there. I've already subscribed. Also, Martin, if you come across this, well, I'm gonna send you a link anyway, but uh, if you come across this, I hope you don't mind me showing these tiny little clips of my video. It is fair use, but still, I didn't ask any permission. If you didn't know this already, do your research on it. Pompeii is a hoax and a hack. <coughs> Choose your research, Flurf. Um, Pompeii uh, is, is... They say that people had cast statues formed uh, from the remainder that was left of their bodies, and that's evidence that um, Pompeii was this huge destruction. Yes, that is exactly what a pyroclastic flow would do. It would instantly burn your body and then actually leave a cast behind. So what the fuck is the problem, Joey Rocha? Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would build a sandcastle on the beach and then start bullying himself by kicking his own sandcastle down. So that's a hoax. And plus, they never claimed it was lava anyways. All right. I just made that Joey Rocha joke while, while not actually listening to this part, but did you just kick down your own sand ca That's so ironic! I mean, I'll be right back! <laughs> so, let's just put that aside. Now let's focus on Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens, uh, what did we see when we, when we saw Mount St. Helens visually? Ash. That's it, right? Plume of smoke going straight up for a long time, right? No lava running down this cone-shaped mountain. None of that. Oh, come on. You you do realize that there was pressure building up on the side of the mountain, and that actually causes the mountain to expand itself up till the point where it could no longer take the pressure anymore. Then it started blasting off one hell of a side of a mountain. And with that, I mean half the bloody mountain was gone. Well, not really half the mountain. A good chunk of the mountain was flying off. No one expected lava to start spewing from the thing because of the huge chunk of mountain that actually went sideways. And now you're using this as some kind of evidence that lava doesn't spew from mountains? I, I guess that's just the kind of guy Joey Rocha is. The world's most active lava flow on Earth is right here where I live, in Hawaii, and I've been to the lava flow. Yes, but a, but a lava flow, or rather lava tubes, is something completely different from a volcano, no isn't it? So many times that I couldn't count them on my hands and my toes combined. That many times I've been there. Well, you, usually you don't use, use your hands and your toes. That, that's kid stuff. You, you can count beyond... You know, 20. You, you, can, you, <laughs> you can count beyond 20. So Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would count up to 20 on his fingers and his toes and then claim there's no number beyond 20. <laughs> Leave your best Joey Rocha is the kind of guy joke down below in the comments. I want to hear all kinds of Joey Rocha jokes now. I'm famous for it. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of funny how I do these videos. I, I just watch a little part of it and then just react to what I hear. But this is so bloody in context, Joey Rocha. I mean, I couldn't even plan this better than what just happened. I mean, you do always talk uh, in the third person in your comments. So I guess Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would get miffed by one of his own comments because Joey Rocha talks about Joey Rocha. I videotaped it and proved to everybody that lava doesn't come from cone-shaped mountains. It always comes from uh, underground lava tubes. So here's my guess. So you've recorded lava tubes with lava flowing through them. As such, also acknowledging that lava does exist. However, because you have not recorded lava coming from a volcano, which many people on the planet have done who actually live near a volcano, you live near Kilauea. So go right ahead, 
jump into the crater and... Well, don't actually do that, Joey Rocha. Joey Rocha, don't do that. Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would listen to Radical, telling him to jump into a volcano. <laughs> and he would actually jump into a volcano. Anyway, just because you haven't recorded it, it doesn't exist? Is that what you're going for? But there's still some people in the truth community that don't know about this truth. So, since I'm an expert on this subject, I figured I would I, I, I was, hell for fuck share this information once again with everybody. Because I love talking about it. The definition of the volcano is that lava is spewing. And here we go again on a journey of exploration of definitions. Okay, Google. What is the definition of a volcano? Here's the definition of volcano. A mountain or hill, typically conical, having a crater or vent through which lava, rock fragments, hot vapor, and gas are or have been erupted from the Earth's crust. Also radical, Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would ask me to explain something and then start correcting me by asking me. <laughs> really? Has that happened? Yes, this fluff is the ultimate contradiction. Well, <laughs> I guess he is. All right, thank you, Google. No problem, radical. Only 5 to 10 percent of all lava flow has ever come from cone-shaped mountains, and that was way in the past, and maybe it'll be uh, uh, in the in the near future or distant future, who knows? But none, none now, and not any now. Why none now? Because it never has occurred. What you know? What has been always will be. There's nothing new underneath the sun, as the Bible says. So, are there cone-shaped mountains that could blow hot lava and spew down and and? Um, well, there is no ant arm about it, Joey Rocha. I've just shown you video proof of the things you're asking for. Problem is, you're gonna say it's not true. You know what would solve this problem? If you would actually not choose your own research, but actually do your own research. Go to a volcano and have a look inside. Problem is, you're probably not allowed near it because derps like you are not good at the game of the floor is lava. Why would we believe that there's lava coming out of a cone-shaped mountain? Because we saw it in Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park? Park? Jurassic Park? It's Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. And we do not talk about Jurassic World. Not around here, buddy. Don't get me started on that. Ho 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 boy! You opening up a can of worms right there. But not for the reason you think it is. Also, I have shown plenty of footage right now where you can actually see the bloody stuff coming from the volcano. But hey, your one-dimensional mind is only capable of seeing one thing and that then completely being unable to conclude that there are other things which are kind of related to it, but different. Because they say that's how the dinosaurs went extinct? Well, no. The main theory is that there was a bloody asteroid slamming into the planet. It's not an explosive volcano. Ah, Oh boy. You see pictures of lava flow coming out of mountains, but you don't see video because the pictures are doctored. That's why... Yes, of course they're photoshopped because they have... Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. Shut the hell up with your stupid analysis of pictures. You don't even know how Photoshop works. You don't even know how video editing works. So be quiet, shut up, and sit down and... Joey Roach has the kind of guy who keeps going on and on about the same thing and then actually doesn't come to a conclusion. Also, I've shown you the footage. Now, he does have something else about the melting point of rocks or something. So let's just skip to that real quick because it's, uh, it's a doozy, isn't it, this video? See, here's the thing about lava. It's not dangerous like people want you to think it is. It's not. It, it really isn't. Um, proof of that is, well, the most active lava flow on Earth is right here where I live in Hawaii. And it's been active for since since we've known about it, you know, since, since, since recorded history, it's been active and it's been flowing and it's the most active. Lava isn't dangerous. So why do kids play the floor as lava? You, re you really do suck at it, don't you? Also, the reason why this particular form of lava isn't that dangerous for the surrounding area is because there is no real danger of pressure built up, which causes the huge explosions that volcanoes do. I mean, Joey, if a lava tube breaks down, the lava doesn't eat the tourists. If this cone-shaped mountain right here had lava coming out of it, it would defy the laws of physics anyways. And I'll explain to you why. Because this mountain is made of rocks, right? Rocks have a melting point. They, they turn to liquid. They have a melting point of between 600 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? If you didn't know that already, just look at the, uh, look at the uh, melting points of rocks and you'll find me to be 100% accurate, between 600 to 800 degrees. And having his melting point around 700 to 1200 degrees Celsius, that still does not mean lava is going to be able to melt it, because 
to be able to melt something it has to be exposed to an extreme amount of temperature for a very long period when in fact lava is just flowing next to it and actually cooling down so the actual heat exchange between the wall of the mountain and the lava going into it <laughs> it's gonna cool down faster than it can actually melt the bloody rocks but hey is that beyond your comprehension there joey rocha you know what's actually extremely ironic in this case joey rocha the fact that you use Hollywood to explain this kind of stuff, because apparently you think the, s the moment you throw something into lava, it melts instantly. What exactly do you think happens when lava rises to the top of that mountain? It starts cooling off, because there's a heat exchange between the pressure inside the mountain going down the higher you go. Not to mention the mountain is taking all kinds of energy out of the bloody lava. And when it starts flowing down the mountain, of which we do have footage by the way, you constantly keep ignoring the fact that we do have footage of that as well. How the hell did that lava get on top of the mountain if it is impossible for lava to get on top of the mountain and flow down? Just because Joey Rocha has one type of lava flow, that means all the others don't exist anymore. Remember, I'm flat for life. Biatch. And on that note, I sentence you to become a jester in the order of the silliest Joey Rocha. Now, you are a serious contester of threat level. And with that I mean, I might have two controls now for minimum quality of my sillies. And to all you spiffies out there, remember to tickle the bell and all buttons around it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh, Joey Rocha is the kind of guy who would butter his toes on the outside.